हेलो एवरीबॉडी नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विथ द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल ऑफ एडवांस बैंक मैनेजमेंट ऑफ सी आई आई बी सो वील स्टार्ट वेरी क्विकली एंड आई विल गिव यू ऑल द थिंग्स दैट यू नीड टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन एंड मोर ओवर यू विल हैव अ फेयर अमाउंट ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ऑल्सो इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू गो इन डिटेल यू कैन एड इट इन कमेंट्स सो आई वुड टेक अप things in details all detail also but this is something that were very sufficient to answer the question and have a fair amount of understanding okay the first topic in our uh, unit module 1 that is economic analysis is fundamentals of economics what are the bases of economics how it emerged what happened then we have microeconomics macroeconomics and types of economies mm, okay hai na uh so now let's see uh, what are the fundamentals of economics economic has been a product of industrial revolution when the production was uh when the, the when enough production was not going on then various researchers came and they developed different theories so this is all and how they defined it we'll see in brief uh, in a brief sense see they told economics as wants of um matlab they assume one thing what they uh, assumed is that wants of humans are unlimited ichhai jo hai insaan ki that is unlimited if you get something today you want many several other things tomorrow and you even get those things then you want several other things also so this is unlimited there is no limit on that and what ever is there on the earth that is a limited thing so uh, what is economics economics is a uh, equilibrium point of all these things the unlimited wants and the limited thing okay so now let us see what is this uh, uh, alfred marshall was a thinker and he said that economics is nothing but the science of human welfare you divide the limited things into uh, the uh wants of the human no wants of the human are considered as the end in itself of economics if you satisfy the wants then the economics ends here you don't need economics any further uh this is what alfred marshall defined he was the very initial thinker and he determined it in terms of human welfare so his definition is also called a welfare definition now then came the thinker adam smith Adam Smith wrote a book General Theory of Employment Interest and Money and uh, through this he gave that economics is nothing but the study of wealth how much wealth do a person have and if a person have a wealth then he can have whatever he want so wealth is a quantitative part of all your wants now let us see what um, this lawrence robin said l robin l robins okay a uh, science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means he is saying that it is a relationship between uh, human wants which we studied previously he told it in a different way so nothing is there but his definition what is important is that his definition is called the scarcity definition that's it now let us see uh, what are different thing yes um adam smith also wrote a book called an inquiry into the nature and the cause of wealth of nations this uh, became one of the most popular book of adam smith what they are, what these people are doing they are just defining what economics is and uh, um, the book which he he, read pre, uh, he wrote previously became the foundation of macroeconomics right so how do we classify economies now initially they have done their studies now we have to classify the economies each economy is a different structure how do we class you have us has a different set of economy india has a different set of economy china has a different one and other countries have different so how do we define we have to make some concrete Uh, characteristics that okay this kind of economy possesses this characteristic then this kind of economy possesses this characteristic this kind of economy possesses this characteristic and now india is very much 
this kind of economy because it pr produces lots of uh, uh, characteristics of a particular economy so let us see uh, we have a market economy a socialist economy and a mixed economy market economy is where everything is decided by the market what happens finally in the market it is some invisible hand as told by the adam smith and what is a socialist economy where everything happens for the people and has everything is done by the government who is selected by the people that is what socialistic um, economy is and then mixed economy mixed economy is of course a mix of market and a socialist economy so now let us see in us many things are market determined government don't interfere in things if uh, people like uh, a particular product then the company will go for its manufacture despite of um, it being good for the society or not right and in socialistic uh, society what the government is the decision maker of what things are going to be produced so if it is good for the people then only the government will allow for the production and if it it is very harmful for the people the government would not spend even a penny for that in mixed economy what happens you have some elements of market working on your economy you have private sectors they determine and you also have the welfare sectors welfare sectors like public sector units where which where government take the part and government uh, build up those things government do the production mostly because the private sector either it is ineligible for production or it is a very public kind of thing uh, okay so these are the kinds of economy you can have different questions like china is a almost uh, china possesses various features of socialist e economy us uh, possesses many characteristic of market economy india possesses many characteristic of mixed economy actually what happens is that there is no discrete uh, thing like that they are only um, you can have economies which are only nearby um, uh, kind of th uh, things okay so now we are completed with this topic and we'll see the next topic now okay then see you